one small businesses you will be supporting. Hello friends. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick video. I'm just wanting to do a little bit of an update on what's going on this week for my live sales and all of that. So I created a reel before we went to the extravaganza in Ohio, got everything ready for my sales this week for reels to display. And then I cleared my cash because I ran out of room and I lost all the work that I did beforehand. So I'm not going to have any reels this week on to show like a preview. I do have photos, but no real. So I am having a sale today. This is Tuesday and I'm having a sale today with uh, Michael, the, the cult of vintage. These are the things that will be available today. I've got this wonderful blow mold. I've got some of these great Halloween colored tins. Let me zoom out, Misty. There we go. Some wooden owls. And a little wooden owl, uh, well, it hangs on your wall. Uh, choice ghost, a little candy container, some uh, books, a Wade, Wade Whimsy lot, Empoli, some bottles, these great Pyrex, um, like, laboratory bottles. They are Pyrex up there on the little thing up there. A couple of these great jewelry boxes here as well. This one has like a beveled mirror. This one has a Bakelite handle. This is a wonderful candle sconce that hangs on the wall. Let me show you. Oops. There we go. So you can hang that on your wall and then you can put your little candle in there. So that's very spooky and fun. I've got some candlestick holders. These are Fostoria. Um, some great shakers. I love the colors on those. And then these little lustery owls. Um, Wicked Witch of the West. This was my own personal favorite. I love this little witch. And then I have Frankenstein. Well, actually, he's Henry Munster. I'm Henry Munster. Not Frankenstein. Although, he might be my cousin. Anyway, so those are the things that are going to be available this today. And I have great things for the five and dime. This great little Halloween mug that I put this vintage-inspired decal on. This is great graphics on this Betty Furness Westinghouse thermometer set. But it's in a box still and has the instructions. And then the little ghosty here. This foam ghost. And then this tin, which is great for a Halloween display. So these are all going to be $10 each during the five and dime. And then Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, September... Oh, hang on. Let me get the date. Wednesday, September 21st, I'm having my very last Wednesday live sale on YouTube. It's the very last one. I've been doing it for over three years. This is my last one. I'm, I'm, I'm scaling back a little bit and I am honored to be having my very last Wednesday YouTube sale with George the Antique Nomad. That's going to be Wednesday, September 21st, and I've pulled some great items to sell. I've got this wonderful Czechoslovakia dog pitcher. This is a beautiful piece of cased glass by Fenton. It's hand-painted. And then I have a set of these uh, enamelware mugs that I've put in the, the Halloween inspired decals on. I'm not even, th this book is, it's a little bunty. It's a magic action book. Okay, th it's kind of creepy. Let me pull it over here so you can have a little bit better of a look. It's kind of creepy. Look, now it's kind of in rough shape as well, but look at little, here I am, bunty. Oh, bunty, come on, pop up. Do your thing. There's a little baby bum. And I don't know what the deal is with the monkey, but there's a monkey right there. Now, it has a lot of <laughs> creepy creeper back there. Bunty set up in bed. Tawit, tawit, sang a fat bird outside Bunty's window. So it's the story of Bunty, but it has great, look at the little policeman. Ah, ah, ah. That dog is giving some sass. But it is just a fun little baby bunting book. I don't know. I just loved it. And then this is like a linen-like book of the three little kittens 
with some great little graphics in there as well. I'm going to sell those together as a lot. I have, this is amazing, this cat and witch game with amazing graphics on it. And then I have um, several other little, little booklets here, the gossipers. This just has great coloring in it. And it's like telling about bad things. The dental gossiper, the guerrerless dentist, has an almost unlimited field for gossip. You know, those go those dentists are such big gossipers, medical gossipers, the gossiping lawyer. I don't know. It's from the 1930s. I thought it was just fun. And then this is the sunny side of life, but my goodness, the illustrations on the inside of this are amazing. It tells you all about you know, the truth about bran, you know, bran is good for you. Why br bran belongs in your menu. So those are a couple booklets. I've got a fall city beer, little advertisement piece. It's a little three dimensional horse, um, uh, some treasure craft. I can't have a sale with the antique nomad and not bring some treasure craft. And then these are come off. They come off of my own shelf, this curate battle ribbon 10, I love the graphics on that with the airplanes. And then I like this with the Red Cross, the Band-Aid tin. So those are going to be there. Some chocolate slag glass, the cactus pattern, from the Greentown glass. And then some, a brooch lot. This beautiful green brooch, which I think is great for Christmas or Halloween. I'm, these are going to be a set, so you will get both brooches. And then some little micro my, mosaic earrings. So those are going to be available as well. And then some McCoy, the Moon Man and the McCoy um, bird and nest uh, planter. Some of the Halloween inspired dishes and this lovely piece right here. It's upside down. Let me get it out so you can see it better. There she is. This is beautiful. It is reverse on glass and it is so say down there 1899 and it is this nursemaid i guess or a housekeeper and she's just looking out to see it's very haunting this is just a beautiful antique piece there so we've got that and then down here i have some ransberg we've got ransberg pottery bowl and shakers and then a couple these are great for halloween displays as well a couple of metal lunch boxes. So those things are gonna be available during my live sale with George on Wednesday. And then guys, Friday. Friday is the estate sale extravaganza part two over on Whatnot. And it's gonna be amazing. So if you are not on the Whatnot app, um, I, there is a link down in the description that you can save $10 on your first purchase. It is a fun, fun sale and it's all vintage, all vintage items that are going to be over there. And there's going to be 51 sellers for 51 hours. Every seller will be doing a giveaway. I have some wonderful grand prize giveaways um, and I'll have several giveaways during my sale. Um, the kickoff will be 9.30 a.m. Eastern over on my um, my Whatnot, which is Thrifter Junk or Misty. There's a little card down there below, but the link is in the description so you can come over and follow me and just participate in this great event supporting all 51, 51 small businesses you will be supporting if you purchase something from one of the sellers this weekend. So that's an amazing, amazing thing to support a bunch of small businesses. So let me show you the things that I'm going to be selling in my whatnot sale. My particular sale, the kickoff is at 930. And then I'm going to be introducing and I'm with Amy's Rock and Pop Shop. Her and I, she and I are co-hosting the event together. And then it'll be an all day, all weekend event of live sales. My particular sale is at four o'clock PM Eastern on whatnot. And let me show you the items that I'm going to be selling and the items that are going to be given away. All right, so I've, I'm going to be selling a Bluebird of Happiness and I have several little people 
lots that will be going up as well. These are Inesco, the little lions. There's this little guy here. Isn't he cute? And then this beautiful uh, Viking dish is going to be sold as well. There are several uranium glass marbles that are in this container. And then I love this for a Halloween display, the black cat. It's a, it's a blow mold bank, but it looks great in your displays. And I've got some Kanawa, uh, Moon and Star. I've got this great little big eyed dog. Some a very kitschy little vinyl lamb, Joseph original puppy dog lamp. It's a cute little nightlight lamp, and it does have the light kit. We have Betsy McCall's hat box, makes a great display. I've got a Smurf Bank blow mold and Mr. Moneybags blow mold. He's great for a Halloween display, too. And then a little Mexican pottery owl. So those are, and then I'm going to be, I have things pulled where if I have time to do, so I know it looks like a big hot mess, doesn't it? But I have a lot of items that will be available during a buyer's choice if there is time for that. And the giveaways. The giveaways are amazing. They are behind me. Let me show you them a little bit closer. Let me just say that these are just the items that I am giving away. Uh, every single seller will have giveaways. Now I have some that are the considered like in the grand prize giveaway, one of being which will be a Rolo thermal printer. Um, these are great if you are a reseller. I cannot live without mine. I actually am going to be giving away two of them, one during the grand, the, the grand prize during the opening ceremonies and then on each day and then one during my particular sale at four o'clock Eastern. I also have some Franciscan Ivy. It's the gravy boat with the ladle, an iconic piece of mid-century modern pottery there. I'm gonna be giving away this great redware black cat, perfect for your Halloween displays. How about a little Ellie Smith floor vase, swung vase? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I'm doing, I'm giving away this cabbage leaf Viking fairy lamp in this beautiful green color. A little chalkware witch. Oh, put your hat back on, girl. You're on video. But she's fabulous. I have a uranium glass refrigerator dish. That's going to be giving away a home co fairy lamp. Holt Howard salt and pepper shakers, a little Halloween cupie with the vintage Halloween black cat hat, and a Ellie Smith bittersweet handkerchief compote. But there's so many more giveaways than that. So you will not want to miss the whatnot estate sale extravaganza part two. It's going to start this weekend, September Friday, September 23rd, 9.30 a.m. over on Thrifter Junker Misty. That's the kickoff. It's going to be a full weekend. 51 small businesses that you could be supporting during the sale. And maybe get, get something. You could get, get something. You could win. You could win some great vintage. So you don't want to miss that this weekend on whatnot. So make sure that you are registered as a buyer. The link is down below. You can save $10 on your first purchase. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great, 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 great time and a great sale. So this was just a really quick video. It's been kind of a whirlwind with everything, everything going on over the weekend and having guests here. But I just wanted to let you know the things that were going to be going on this weekend as far as my sales go. And I hope that you can come to the last Wednesday live sale over on YouTube. And after that, I will be doing my sales on whatnot 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, lots of fun and I'm really excited to slow down a little bit and be able to take a breather every once in a while. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you. Tomorrow's video will be my video from the Ohio extravaganza. So I hope that you will come back tomorrow and watch that. And I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some charmer, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Svengali's. I can
confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my game.